even before you go to that start with basics start with moon so moon has lot of karakatvas moon is your house moon is your moon is your house moon is your mother moon is the way you have been raised up moon is what you eat every day and you should be able to make 10 predictions only based on moon rajeshwari where is your moon Uh, sir, fifth house Capricorn. Okay, fifth house Capricorn. Any any other planet aspecting it? Any other planet aspecting it? K two K two with moon sir in fifth house. Okay, wonderful. So whenever Rajeshwari will eat, he she will not be able to eat in one go, because K two gives you multiple times, at least three or four times. Okay. She will eat. Secondly. Does not matter what she will order in our restaurant, what she will cook. When she, whenever she will cook, she will always forget one essential item. Whenever she will order in restaurant, she will always be like, "I have already ordered it, but I should have ordered second one, or the another one, or the one who whatever that person is eating." Reason being is that moon ketu for you. Never satisfied with food. Very true, sir. Fifth house moon Ketu never satisfied with Ket, never satisfied with love. I am hungry, but I will only eat when you will decorate it for me. I cannot eat when until unless it my food is decorated. Because fifth house is fifth house is celebration. So whenever now I have to you have to make one big prediction from it. What will be the big prediction? Fifth house is love. Uh, what's her name? Rajeshwari. What's the sign over there? Capricorn. Okay. So you will you will meet the person you love at the workplace over a food when something will spill or some food will be wasted. Bang on that, sir. That's the day you will meet that person. When you will have first kid. Or conceive first kid, there will be fight between you and husband over the food, and during that day, that will be a day of some celebration. Your kid will be born on a day of some very special tithi. Right, sir. And as you will conceive, you will see your husband's profession will start going a little bit down. Your husband will start telling you, "I don't know what what is happening. My 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 business is closing." Right, sir. And the the day he is born, the business is down. Khatam. That's the day the business is end. Bank Now you tell me, all I have done is Moon Ketu, fifth house Capricorn, nothing else. I don't have to use anything. Now you tell me now Moon Ketu Capricorn, right? So Capricorn is a Martian land. Sorry, it's a Saturn Mars land basically. It's a very difficult place. Moon is your house. Ketu is half. You will not have a complete house. You will always have a one and a half house. Like you will have a two bedroom house. You will only use one and a half. You have a two three bedroom house. You will use only two. You cannot use complete house. One room will be locked by somebody else. Rajeshwari. Right, sir. So where is the husband come into the picture here? Okay, fifth house belongs to. Come on, come on. Love, it's love. It's yes. Love. So kids, kids love romance. To make kids, you need to have love. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So the seventh And is not uh, involved. So okay. My kid, box. my daughter is born on Christmas. As sir said, special day. <laughs> <laughs> Now, can you get more precise than this? So how you predicted one how one part of the house will be locked. So fifth. Uh... Okay. Moon is your place. Moon is your house. Yes, sir. Fifth house. Ketu with it. Ketu with Ketu it. Ketu with it. Why. And sitting in oh. fifth. So middle portion. Ketu in fifth house Capricorn. In the middle of her house, she has kept a very big almira, and also that particular part middle house she is not even using it. 
something has been blocked in the middle of the house captain almira sir now tell me what you are doing here you cannot i am telling you if you cannot learn jyotish in this way please think twice i mean this is the easiest form of jyotish i'm not telling you go to drekna i mean other day i sat down with the with the somebody in the office and we were discussing drekna i said sir you know drekna so well why are you not teaching it i said i don't need to okay let me give you another prediction capricorn i was moon makes you travel to places to finish your karma capricorn ketu you will travel to kolkata you will travel to kolkata and this is where your business will start booming again when you will visit a when will you will visit a or a, a temple in kolkata like a like a kali temple or a or a temple of a ketu ganesh ji temple in kolkata this is when your business will start for rushing again this is space and time sir why kolkata kolkata sir but you see you cannot have a, a very complicated technique from day one you have to start from this saturn ketu makes kolkata according to bhrigu that's why i told you till kolkata or let's say that particular portion of the of the of this india can, can you use the same prediction if the aspect angle was coming also okay let's suppose mars would have been expecting the moon ketu i would have said you have a extremely troubled relationships with your mother so once i focus on moon i will go to now father or either i can go to jupiter because who is jupiter ravindra ranjan where is your jupiter see i don't i have i don't have habit to make powerpoints 11th 11th house sir okay which is a sign ravi uh, sagittarius ascendant sir uh, libra 11th house with jupiter okay this is all i need theek okay. hai the problem with powerpoint is these are predetermined i mean there is no fun predicting it and it means this is a cheating i can use the indira gandhi chart predict everything this is a standard what people do but i i can't do that i mean i can't even repeat my lectures i mean tomorrow morning the lecture will be different because the energy will be different the space and time will be different i will take their charts and i will use their energy to predict so when you have 11th house libra sign jupiter your wife will come and make you go to a temple which is not your religion temple like either the out of the community temple which you have not done before tell me what was the ritual you have done after marriage ravi uh, sir i belongs to bihari family and i married to the gujarati family julela and uh, one more thing sir on the day of marriage i i had a fight with my family uh, regarding food just because my this 6th uh, house is having 7 but whatever mars will aspect in your chart whatever that house that signification that particular planet you will fight with you cannot yeah, have right. you cannot go without fighting but jupiter libra jupiter libra 11th house that's in sign that's in aquarius so there will be cheating something will be lost to do a very valuable thing will be lost like gold will be lost your marriage gold will either be taken away or is placed somewhere else that will not be kept within your family Yes, sir. It is. It is in locker. <laughs> all the golds are in locker. But also, you see this eleven, this locker, na. You will never be able to use this gold throughout your life. Okay. It sir. will be taken away from some, taken away from you. 
जुपिटर लिब्रा इलेवेंथ हाउस यू कैन यूज एनी सिग्निफिकेशन ऑफ जुपिटर नाउ नॉट जुपिटर इज हाउ यू हैव स्टडीड वॉट इज योर एजुकेशन हु इज योर गुरु ऑल दिस विल कम फ्रॉम जुपिटर विदर यू विल गेट हैपीनेस फ्रॉम केट्स जुपिटर वॉट यू थिंक अबाउट प्रिंसिपल्स जुपिटर सो योर वाइफ टेल्स यू एवरी डे दीज आर योर प्रिंसिपल्स you should i mean the first thing you do after withdrawing your salary when your salary comes in you come in and you always tell wife that this is what you have got your wife will tell you okay invest here invest here invest here this is what you will do with the money your wife tells you every time you will go with the salary you do not control your salary anyhow you only earn somebody else spends it you can see that uh, yes sir uh, right uh, your school is the name of the school will be on the name of jupiter only like your name of your jupiter will be uh, something related to something related to traditional old heritage yes. what's the name of your school yes sir my my sir my father's name is gyaneshwar sharma hmm. and my mother is viva sharma so i kept it as gyan viva academy on on something on a tradition lineage right yes sir how can you name it something else when you have a jupiter 11th you cannot name it on anyone else name all you have to do is pick up a planet see where it is sitting what is a sign how i can predict more from it the when you get into habit of predicting from that planet only from that house only then the client will say yaar isko knowledge bahut hai and what you are doing is you are playing simple stuff this is not even knowledge this is not even what i'm showing <laughs> south mars is wherever whichever a planet like mars aspecting saturn you will fight in your profession the more you will fight the better your profession gets wow so mars with saturn is that the same same mars whichever planet which will it will look at it has a habit to energize them provoke them mars provokes like army commander does what pep talks let's kill the enemies so mars aspecting venus mars tells venus every day let us kill us all our relatives please wake up <laughs> mars sir Ram please <laughs> <laughs> let's sir go let's sir go let me say please please explain more about mars and saturn because these are two different energies so you said you know fight in the office so how exactly can you explain okay. so what more? happens is mars is groups mars is always about groupism saturn works alone and what happens is saturn mars do not like saturn working slowly because saturn says let me plan let me go let me go slowly and i will give you a very stable base mars says no 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 do not tell me in 15 days you're going to give me project tell me what you're giving me today in 2 hours and this is how mars is energizing saturn so what mars does is whichever planet not only saturn so mars is saturn right <coughs> sorry mars when it aspects saturn it energizes the saturn and says wake up it's time to change your old habits old things the way you're handling things till now are going to change i'm going to bring new stuff why you're not doing it why it is taking 3 days to develop such a simple thing i could have done it in 1 hour and it will destroy all the traditional methods markets and practices in the workplace which is followed from the traditionally which people were following mars is young blood so mars do not know the consequences which is going to happen over a period of time so let's suppose and i give you a classic example of it so saturn says i do not like to change these are my vendors over a period of time they have always worked like this they have given me projects i have a relationship with them i'm not going to change for something new even when it's cheap mars says let's break all all the old relationships they are inefficient they are not going to work 
they are wasting my time let's change all the vendors in the workplace because mars requires things in a day saturn says it's tradition let it happen slowly have patience and this is why mars and saturn fights you cannot have mars saturn working together in peace because the moment mars and saturn will talk to each other one will raise voice another will say give me some time i will show you why i'm why i'm necessary why i'm holding all the weight mars aspecting mercury look how they fight with siblings all your troubles related to mercury will start bulging up because mars is aspecting home a kid and what what you will say you look at people who have mars mercury in our, our classes they will tell their siblings he works like a kid all your habits are like it now you are a 34 year old 40 year old why are you behaving like kids behave like a man mars aspecting mercury fighting with mercury the life of siblings are troubled why because mars is aspecting mercury mercury is siblings mars is anger so mars has a kupet angri kupet drishti more powerful mars gets or any special position mars gets in the chart like debilitated mars exalted mars more there will be the trouble to the planet whom is aspecting like explain the three aspects of mars to you the three aspect of mars is the first is a fourth aspect which is a very beautiful aspect it doesn't make you go crazy fourth aspect of mars is the motherly nature of mars where you try to act as a bigger brother you know there's a term called as big brother that i am the big brother mars in second house elder in the family big brother fourth from your mars whatever is the house you will act as a big brother over there for example let's suppose <clears throat> You have a lagna, you have a mass in lagna, in your house, fourth house from your house, fourth house from lagna, your your own house, your vehicle. You will act as big brother for all your family members, your houses, and all your family responsibilities related to house, vehicle, construction will always come to you. Fourth from Mars comes to any planet. Venus, Saturn, Rahu, Jupiter. You will try to act. as a big brother you will try to overcome you will tell <coughs> sandhya ji where is your mars sir my mars in taurus in 6th house mars and ketu okay and <coughs> mars and ketu okay you have a fighting going over there wonderful and uh, where is your uh, any any planet in the 9th house you have venus and moon okay you will try to act as a big brother for siblings for your marriage and you will always like bhai betha tera i am the big brother here motherly nature of mars will take over all the things related to 9th house even to guru father religion i am there even when i am emotionally not happy with you still i will do my duty because fourth house of mars says fourth aspect of mars is i'm not emotionally happy with you but i'm still doing it because you require my help i will make you i will make you beat i will beat you like a mother like a big brother does but i will still help you out like mothers you can see fourth from your mars you are not happy but you will still help why you feel it's your duty motherly nature of mars Is it working? You guys checked it in your charts. So very apna... true, sir. So I have Mars in Lagna and fourth house, so full responsibility. Not happy, but still doing it. Not happy with the like... mother as well. Yes, like sir. my mother is like this. Mother is like this. But I will. But you still come doing to all me, the work. <laughs> I will help you. Yes, sir. 
Mars aspecting Venus in fourth in a girl's house or lady's house means she will be like an elderly to a husband because Venus is Karakatwa. Yes. Of husband. Yes. Okay. And you can use a sign as here as well. You can use a plant as well. For example, course, Venus, for example Venus in fourth house in sign of give me sign. Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a sign of traveling, long term travel. Uh, so, what if uh, it is. No, no, a, Anita, listen. Phone. Listen, let me complete. Do not disturb me in between. That's why I muted you two times. So, Mars, whenever it is aspecting Venus in fourth house, Sagittarius sign, fourth aspect of Venus, Sagittarius, you will make, you will not be happy about your husband's religion. You will not be happy about your husband doing something related to bosses. You will not be happy about car of your boss. Like this is a prediction you can make and this is a brilliant prediction, right? I made it one, one, once in my, in my reading. For to Mars, there is Venus in Sagittarius. I said you will have trouble or some kind of accident with the boss car. And you will be the one who will get it repaired. Sagittarius boss. Venus is your, Venus is his car and you will get it repaired even when you're not happy about it. You will help your boss getting a house or getting into partnerships, getting into relationships, not happy about it, still hate your boss and his wife. But you will do it because that is your mother nature Ki you will be whole life. You will be under the step for me. any point of time the fourth aspect is a motherly nature aspect not happy still doing it when it comes to seventh aspect it's a straight head-on aspect seventh means opposition i'm clearly not happy with you i'm clearly way openly will shout on you and I will make sure that you wake up. You get energized with my power. This is seventh aspect of Mars. Head on. The eighth aspect of Mars is my final try to save you or let you go. So eighth from your aspect is you. You what? What is the dialogue you will say to these people? You are dead from my end from today. I have done enough with you. Why? Because that's the do or die situation of Mars. Until unless these people are dead, I will not sit in peace. Every day I will ask that you should die. Reason being is this is the energy of my Mars. So that is why I say 11th house Mars. Do not, <coughs> do not lease that anger. It is going to cost a lot of people their lives. Because you can see in your charts who, who is the planet or sign or house in the eighth aspect of Mars. So, oh, Venus in third house Aquarius. After your marriage, you will start. When one of your neighbors will change. Also, some changes in terms of how you are earning money is going to change. You're going to start a new business, new partnerships, which will either the siblings or either with a person of a foreign land, which will eventually result into gain. Also on your marriage day, you will have a major, major <coughs> relevations, some kind of emotional breakdown within the family related to siblings like you must have said before within five seven days before marriage that this is the money issue this is the this issue and i'm not getting this with siblings and siblings would have said don't worry we'll take care you just get married don't take care of of, of these things this burst out has to happen just before the marriage if your shukra is somewhere in the 10th house before your marriage, your job will start changing. 
right now sell us sell it true now the job will start changing and you will start realizing oh god it's not easy to get married <laughs> shukri 10th i have to go through lot of troubles because shukri 10th house 10th house is extremely hard house very few people will come to your marriage very few the remedy is please give first card to a labor or first card in office invite saturn first no good thank you because if you will not follow this protocols of shukra 10 like there was a astrologer i met and he used to predict how many people will come in your marriage and he was you know very good with this but he mastered this technique one technique only how many people will come in your marriage so you know when shukra is in capricorn sign i can tell you anyone who has a shukra 10th shukra capricorn i can tell you this right now lot of labors your co-workers have come to your marriage and due to which your marriage has been you know there is a controversy in your marriage when i say controversy means they have done something you felt ashamed why these people have come here they should not have come this is a shukra 10 will do rashmi you had a shukra 10 शुक्र विद राहु शुक्र विद क्वेरियस शुक्र विद केतु सबडी विल वॉमिट इन योर मैरिज इट्स ए हंड्रेड एंड टेन परसेंट प्रोडिक्शन एंड दिस विल बी वेरी नोटिसबल इवेंट इन द मिडल ऑफ द स्टेज लाइक शुक्र फिफ्थ हाउस इक्वेरियस इन द मिडल वेर एवरी वन कैन सी इट दैट्स वेर इट इज गोइंग टू हैपन driver drunk and bothered father in law okay okay that happens but not in the middle right it usually happens outside the marriage halls but i'm telling you this is this will happen in middle where everyone is dancing this is where it will happen try to predict people based on these combinations only only using the signification of planet but this is not where it ends this is not where i will ask you to stop for example shukra has shani next to it second house of shukra there is saturn second house of shukra there is a mars second house of shukra this is there is another planet then you predict more with it you make shukra as lagna or you treat that house is your spouse and then you keep on predicting everything about this spouse like second house to shukra there is a surya and surya is in special position fifth house leo aries first house you tell somebody in your family is in government job because this is and you can see in your chart next to surya next to shukra there is a surya someone in family will have <coughs> special uh, you know special status let's suppose shani goes in special position in second to saturn from shukra any planet in any special position pick up that planet and say this is where what is happening in your chart give me a chart give me a chart vipul it works in you priyas it works in you so jupiter jupiter second to second to venus your wife is the first kid in the family samir yes sir wife is the first kid in the family oh uh, we jupiter uh, second to venus yes uh, no miss my son Who has got it? You are asking about your son. 
Yes. I was talking about your talking about your wife's chart, but you can check when the Jupiter is second to Shukra, your wife or your spouse is the first kid in the family. Okay. My wife is first first kid in the family, but it's not in my chart, or not in. <clears throat> so Andre, work it works right. It's very simple, take them. And when you will tell this to client, okay, what the client will tell you? Ah, oh, wonderful. Where where you are learning all this? Which dictum has it? It's a very it's a very simple chart. Yeah. It's a very simple dictum. All I'm doing is I'm not using any drekhan. I'm not using any sastyanch. I'm not using nakshatra. Nakshatra is when I'll tell you something else. But this is how you need to learn to start to predict. This is class one basics nursery. So please do not tell me that you know Jyotish until unless you start predicting this area. Only Rashi chart. Sun next to Venus in wife's chart. I'm okay. So Rajeshwari, you will not get any support. Saturn next to Venus, you will have a you will have a relationship like a dog in a brick with the husband's family. Right, sir. I'm sorry to use those words, but this is how <laughs> I have remembered the combinations in my head. You can check in any chart. Shukra sitting next Saturn sitting special position wife and husband's family or spouse family do not like each other they they try to kill each other they are like I want don't want to see his face <laughs> but you, are, you have to re listen to techniques very carefully no 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 next next up Sarika it is working right yeah I mean uh... My my husband Shukra is in twelve thousand. He has Saturn Moon in first house, so yeah, it's like that. Tell, I'm, let me tell you, husband. Do you want me to tell the dialogues of your husband? The words he's he's using. Yeah. So he yeah, will say, please. he will say, he will tell you. I don't know what is the background of your family, which family background you belong to. <laughs> you That's hundred percent. See, I'm telling you, when you will tell this to any client in the world. There is no one who can say, who will not touch your feet and say, please tell me solution. Because what you have done tell is you have predicted, <laughs> what you have done, you have predicted something this person has never imagined in his life. So <clears throat> what you tell do is you, you do pacify the Saturn. You do one thing, who pacifies, who rules second house? Kheer, right? Oh, sorry, moon right. Moon, 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 moon right. Moon. So what you do? You on every Amavas, every Sakranti, and the Tithi you were born in, keep on sending them Kheer. The Kheer they will keep on eating. They will start getting sweeter towards you. But they stay in India and I stay in Canada, so that's. I, not... I, have, I have a very good solution. Download a Zomato app. That okay. will also work. Send them fast, yeah. them fast food quickly. <laughs> right? And never ever give them things of Saturn. The things would have got worse when you were, you must have gifted them something related to Saturn. Like whenever you give them car, uh, whenever Shukra, whenever Saturn is next to Venus, please make sure the woman enters your house. And I've taught this in karma relationships. Woman who's entering your house, a spouse who's entering your house, should not bring any iron or any iron shoes. Saturn significations or shoes from his family. Love. Leave your shoes with your old family. Gift shoes to everyone during the marriage ceremony. This is the remedy. But we can give after now also because yes, uh, it didn't but happen during marriage. You can always give out Kheer. It's yeah, a brilliant that remedy. Okay. You can do this and try this and you will see. And you don't even have to take your name. <coughs> Let them eat. Okay. So when the Mars is next to Saturn, 
no sorry mars is next to venus first of all your your spouse is going to be very responsible person he will have all the family responsibilities on his shoulder and you will not like it you will always complain why you have to have all responsibilities on your shoulder only not anyone else i can say 100% my wife has it mars next to venus and she will not like it and then <clears throat> also this mars and next to venus let me tell you the wife the dialogues of your wife what is the sign there samir uh leo okay that you are the only king of this house who is trying to manage everything this whole what do you call this whole army which you have arranged is never going to be satisfied she will constantly use the word army kutumb kumbha or any of these similar terms she will use Unfortunately, she is not Indian, so she doesn't use those words. But I get your message. <laughs> so yeah, but you know, yeah, she she always telling me, don't try and organize and tell everything to everybody. Don't try to solve problems for everybody, which is similar to what you're saying. Not.